Hello fellow sim racers, today I'm going to be taking a look at what I think are the best Assetto Corsa track mods as of August 2018. One of the first videos I uploaded to this channel was a rundown of my favourite track mods, but so many great new mods have come out since then it's become painfully obvious how out of date that video now is. So I'm going to keep this video moving pretty quickly, because honestly there are so many high quality mod tracks for Assetto Corsa available now. All of these tracks are available free of charge and you can find the download links in the description, along with links to the various videos I've made for these tracks. So let's jump right in. Donington Park is one of the world's great race circuits. It's packed with challenging corners, serious elevation changes and the sort of flow that most circuits could only dream of. But more importantly, there's no concrete runoff anywhere to be seen. This mod is by a talented chap called Brun or Brun, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, and it captures the look and feel of the place admirably. This is one of those mods that nails both the technical and the artistic aspects of modding. Next up is Feldbergring, one of those long lost race venues where the organisers didn't let practicality, safety or sanity get in the way of their racing aspirations. At just over 7 miles long, the circuit runs through picturesque German mountain scenery and features a roller coaster like descent through the village of Oberreifenberg. Feldbergring is the first of two tracks I'm featuring in this video created by Fat Alfie, and it's a real peach. It's super fast with nice technical sections and, as you would expect from a mountain circuit, it's got some pretty serious elevation changes. More than that, it's absolutely unique. There's very little else like this available for Assetto Corsa, or any other racing sim really, so for me, it's a must have. Continuing the theme of places that only the mad or the damned would race, Thompson Road is Singapore's answer to the question, just how many opportunities to crash into trees at high speed can we fit into a race circuit? There's no runoff and very few barriers to speak of, and the only thing standing between you and the jungle are street lamps and spectators. This masterpiece of an Assetto Corsa mod was also crafted by Fat Alfie, someone that's clearly fascinated by race venues that are now lost to the ages. As with all of the other mods in this video, Thompson Road is a well-crafted, technically excellent affair but what really makes it special is the way the mod oozes character. That, and the small fact that surviving a Grand Prix length race here is a serious challenge. Now, we're moving into what can only be referred to as the Lilski section of the video, and the next four tracks are from the aforementioned mod creator. The bridge was a formidable circuit, eye-wateringly fast, technical and pretty unforgiving. Despite hosting racing from the likes of IMSA, Can-Am and NASCAR, the circuit ultimately lost a protracted battle with NIMBYism and was sadly forced to close. Bridgehampton is my favourite track for Assetto Corsa. The mod is technically excellent, challenging to drive, aesthetically interesting and above all, it produces exceptional racing. As far as I'm concerned, it's the mod by which all other mods should be measured. And if it isn't in your track library, it might be time to re-evaluate some of your life choices. While Bridgehampton is now a golf course, Riverside fell to a similar fate and is now a shopping mall. But before the circuit shut up shop for the final time in 1989, Riverside built a fearsome reputation amongst drivers and fans alike. As with many circuits of the day, this is a road course that requires bravery and commitment, with a real mix of fast and technical corners, unfriendly camber and the sort of braking zones that you wouldn't bring back to meet your parents. Like all of Lilski's tracks, this mod is technically accomplished and it conveys a real sense of time and place. And for me, those are the ingredients of something special. When the first permanent circuit at Watkins Glen opened its doors in the mid 50s, it was one of the best racing circuits in the world. And in my opinion at least, that's still the case in 2018. Lilski's mod is still a beta version at this stage, but it absolutely lives up to the incredibly high standards that we've all come to expect. There's not much that can be said about Watkins Glen that hasn't already been elevated to the point of cliché at this stage, but to keep it short and sweet, 
If you want a venue that's entertaining to drive, hard to master and pretty racy, this is your place. Now, the final circuit in this video from Lilski's Quadrology of Fantastic Mod Tracks for Assetto Corsa is the rather humble and understated New Jersey Motorsport Lightning Road Course. It isn't much to look at. There's no picturesque locale, no interesting buildings or local landmarks, but while the real NJMP Lightning is a bit minimal on the aesthetic charm, it's a real driver's track. And as you would expect, this mod replicates this with aplomb. With a real mixture of interesting, technical and fast corners built into this short circuit, NJMP Lightning packs a lot of punch into a small package, and in my opinion at least, has a turn one that would easily make it into the top five of all time. The little Lightning course is a serious lesson in not judging a book by its cover. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I'd not heard of the Poznan circuit until I came across this popular Assetto Corsa mod. The mod was created by Shamik and Rash Banor, and it's a real gem. The real world circuit has a great flow and a number of interesting corners, and this comes across perfectly in the mod. And as with all the other circuits in the video, the mod is technically proficient and good looking to boot. What's perhaps unique about this particular mod, however, is the sheer number of variations that are included. There are both forward and reverse versions of the circuit, as well as summer and winter skins, with the latter being a particularly nice addition. It sounds a little silly, but being able to drive around a circuit that isn't surrounded by acres of perfectly mowed grass is a pretty nice change, and the snow on the ground is particularly well represented. The last two tracks in this video were created by Mitch Bonka. Chang International may have been designed by Herman Tilke, but it's got a lot going for it. While it does suffer a little from the deserted car park aesthetic that the FIA demands, the track layout itself is pretty decent. Moreover, Mitch has done a commendable job in his attempts to bring life and soul to what is a fairly understated race venue. This is a great circuit for GT cars and has featured on both the Super GT and Blanc Pan Asia calendars. While my preferences lean towards classic race venues, I must admit that the quality of the mod is enough to keep me coming back to race at this track. If your interests are a little bit more modern than mine, I'm sure Chang International will be right up your street. Last, but by no means least, is the Okayama International Circuit. This is a race venue that captured my imagination as a young race fan in 1994 when it hosted the Pacific Grand Prix. I have vivid memories of Michael Schumacher lapping all of the field bar Gerhard Berger, but choosing to remain behind him for the final 20 odd laps of the race. Such was his total dominance of the event. Okayama definitely doesn't fit the requirements of a modern F1 venue, but that just means it's remained relatively unspoilt. It's a varied and challenging track set in an idyllic location, so what's not to like? The mod itself is a work of art and is, in my opinion at least, a must have for any Assetto Corsa fan. There were a bunch of tracks that didn't quite make the cut for one reason or another that I'd like to highlight in a little less detail. Download links for these are also available in the video description. Every race fan should be aware of the Mount Panorama circuit at Bathurst, and the mod by Arseb does an excellent job of conveying the unique challenge that is tackling the mountain. Similarly, Virginia International Raceway by Darren Blythe, Rigel and Arthur666 is also a real gem of a track that's technically excellent and really nails the feel of the place. Finally, the Road Atlanta mod by Jim Lloyd is another personal favourite that absolutely oozes character and produces fantastic balls to the wall racing. So that's about all I have to say about Assetto Corsa mod tracks for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then it would be great if you could hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any suggestions for content you'd like to see on the channel in future, then please let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for donating your precious free time by watching. It is very much appreciated. So all that's left to say is goodbye, thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.